Strawberries. Strawberries. Hello everyone, welcome back. So the first four episodes of the iKylie reboot have dropped and I have a few initial thoughts that I'd like to share. I believe at the time that this video drops, the, there will be five episodes already out, but we'll only be discussing the first four. Fingers crossed this video stays up because iCarly content loves to be removed from my channel. I feel like this is common sense, but I will be discussing some plot points and there's some spoilers, so please only continue watching if you are comfortable with spoilers. So for those of you who don't know, here's a brief rundown of the premise. Spencer is a super rich and cool artist who still lives in their old apartment, but it's now like remodeled because like I said, he's very rich. Carly is an unemployed 26 year old college dropout who's trying to figure out what she wants to do with her love of social media and content creating. Carly lives with her roommate named Harper and Freddie has a daughter named Millicent. So that's kind of like the gist of the show. Overall, I think the show has done a really great job with the character progression. I was so happy when I saw that Spencer was a rich and successful artist because it's really not expected uh, given that 99% of his art in the OG I Carly resulted in spontaneous combustion, but I get that that's the joke, you know, and I love it. Spencer is still very much the wacky older brother and he's one of the funniest people on the reboot as well. I hope that the show highlights his pranking side and I also hope that we get to see more of his crazy socks and at least hear some news of Socko because I miss that guy. I'm moving on to Carly. In this rerun, Carly is kind of a hot mess and it's pretty entertaining, I do have to say. He would have thunk that after iCarly happened, Carly would have like been a successful teen star, but instead she's just like us, you know? She's a 20 something who has no idea what she's doing with her life. And I really, I resonate with that. And I feel like the writers did a great job at progressing her character too. Like Carly's still the same nice girl that we remember her to be, but she's still slightly self-obsessed. I'm doing this to connect with people to lift up, to inspire. It's not about me. But what are they saying about me? And it's honestly comforting that she hasn't really changed. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a quick moment to chat and thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. If you've been living under a rock and don't know how fantastic Skillshare is, it is an online learning community where millions of creative people come together to further their creative journeys. On Skillshare, you can find thousands of classes from graphic design, film and video, and productivity, just to name a few. The great thing about Skillshare is that it's for people of all skill levels. It doesn't matter if you're beginning your creative journey, if you're a master at your craft, or if you're just somewhere in between. Skillshare has something for everyone. As someone with so many varying interests, I love that Skillshare has allowed me to explore. I've personally been trying to get more into interior design and decorating because I know literally nothing about it. Uh, so I've been loving the interior design, create a plan for your perfect room, taught by Arlen Hernandez. I've been having so much fun with this class and have already applied a few tips to my space. Skillshare prioritizes the quality of their members learning, so that means that there's no ad to distract you from your classes, which is amazing. Skillshare is hooking the girl gang up for the summertime, and the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a month free trial of Skillshare, so you can start exploring your creativity today. Y'all better jump on this because that is a deal. Thank you once again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into the video. On to my boy, Fredward Benson. Oh, justice for my boy, Freddy. Justice, because the writers did him so dirty, but it's honestly so funny and entertaining to watch. I feel like Freddy was always being done dirty in the OG, and I was hoping things would be looking up for him, but alas, his life still sucks. Fredward is literally a twice divorcing father who lives with his mother. Pursued my dreams, married for love, two divorces and a failed startup later, I'm back living with my mom. Speaking of his mother, she's just as crazy as usual, and I just, I love seeing her. I'm so happy she had a cameo in the first episode and I'm hoping to see more of her throughout the series. So first we have Harper, who's Carly's friend. But before we discuss this Harper, 
I think that we need a moment of silence for the OG Harper and the iCarly universe. Uh, Harper, can I talk to the girls alone? Can I drive your new Porsche around the parking lot? Um, Harper is actually my favorite character in the new series. Like, she's undoubtedly the funniest, and I just, I love her. Her energy, she's great. She wants to be a stylist, which makes sense because she's constantly serving looks. I'm hoping people aren't comparing her to Sam because the two are very different and they're their own kind of characters. And I hope we get to know more of her backstory because she's genuinely so funny and she's such an interesting person to me. She drops like the weirdest lines. Best friend since Sam. And she's my B-F-U-M-C-E-R. Best friend unless my cousin ever resurfaces. <laughs> and I'm like, I want to know more. And that, but the show just moves on. And I'm like, uh, let's let's go back a second. So hopefully we get more of her backstory. Lastly of the characters we'll be discussing is Freddie's daughter Millicent. So Freddie's daughter Millicent is probably my least favorite character so far. Like she's adorable, don't get me wrong, like the kid is cute, but her only personality trait is hating on Carly, but we're never really given a clear reason or motive as to why she dislikes Carly. You're protecting Carly. No, I want to cancel Carly. Millicent is into social media is what we know and Carly used to be like a big social media person who's trying to like get back into it so I guess it's kind of jealousy. I think it's just that Carly's old. <laughs> I think that Millicent just doesn't like old people. Um, it kind of plays into the whole millennial versus Gen Z thing which was super popular and is super prevalent so it's interesting seeing it play out on TV. But yeah the kid is cute. She's not my favorite but she's funny and she's cute. I wasn't sure of what to expect when the reboot was first announced, but something about the reboot just stands out to me. Like, I think the writers did a solid job at aging up the show's content without making it feel completely weird or unnatural. Like, iCarly always pushed the boundaries on what was appropriate for kids TV anyway, so seeing Carly and Spencer flat out curse and make dirty jokes is just a natural progression to me. Very HBIC. Head bitch and chill. That sounds a little severe. How about more fun bitch in charge? Another thing I appreciate is how they handled Sam's absence from the show. I, as I'm sure many of you know, Jeanette McCurdy chose not to reprise her role as Sam on the show um, because she left acting due to personal reasons. And while of course I'm a Sam, I'm happy that Jeanette is doing what is best for herself. Well, anyways, I was expecting that they'd like have some throwaway line of Sam being in prison or something, but instead they mentioned how she's like traveling with her biker gang, the Obliterators. I appreciate the fact that Sam's memory wasn't like tainted and she got her happy ending. I appreciate that. That being said, the show isn't perfect. Definitely tries to be very woke, uh, a little bit too much at times, but it's not bad enough to ruin the entire experience for me. I mean, it's a show about social media in 2021, so you kind of have to expect some level of cringy woke content in there. You know, it's kind of a given. I hope that Carly and Freddie both end up in happy relationships, preferably not with each other. Um, I really hope the writers don't try to do that. None of that, please. In the promo, I saw that Neville's gonna be in the show and I just, he's so iconic. I'm so excited to hear his line, his iconic Rue the day. You feel the Rue? You feel I just, I think he's one of the best iCarly characters. Neville Paperman, iconic. Creep, but iconic. I think my favorite episode that happened so far is the fourth episode. That episode was hilarious. Spencer accidentally hiring an escort to date Freddie while neither of them knew she was an escort. Literally one of the funniest plot lines. And I own plenty of costumes. Oh, nice. Are you an actress? Most of the time, yes. <laughs> Unless the guy's really hot. Highly recommend if you're going to watch one episode out of the whole reboot. Episode four so far. Amazing. In all the reboot has been fun so far it doesn't take itself too seriously which i like and the target audience which is people who grew up watching the show seem to be enjoying it and so i think that's what really counts it wasn't really meant for anyone <laughs> um other than that you know obviously people are welcome to watch it but the people who actually care and will enjoy the show are people who are watching it um hopefully this reboot opens doors for more reboots like the victorious reboot because it would make my life if i got the victorious reboot that's all my thoughts on the reboot as of now let me know if you want a full break once the season ends and 
yeah and be safe don't forget to subscribe and comment and like and all the things you guys are legends and i will see you all in the next one bye